if I could write. There we go, notes number 11. What we're going to talk about today is the three variable case of infinite solutions and no solutions. So the second of those two is the easiest to spot and we'll talk about one here in just a second where we, we can spot it pretty easily. So here it is, 3x plus 2y minus uh, 2z equals 8, 5x plus uh, 4y plus 8z equals 9, and then we're going to have 6x, oops, negative 6x minus 4y plus 4z equals 8. Okay, now one of those should stick out kind of to you, or two of them together should stick out to you. Uh, which ones? Yeah. Uh, why does the first and third one stand out to you? All right. Are all of them? T are each is each space multiplied by negative two? Except for the last number, right? Okay. So that's what we want to combine together, like we normally do. So I'm going to double this and move it. So six x plus four y minus four z equals 8. Then I want negative 6 minus 4y plus 4z. Oops, that should be equal 16, I'm sorry. Equal 16, and then the bottom one's going to equal 8. Um, so when we add these together here, we get 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals 8. Right? So that means that, oops, it doesn't equal 8, it equals 24. There's two adding mistakes in. So here what we have is 0 equals 24. So is that ever true? No. So how many solutions does this have? It has no solutions. Because the three. If two out of the three equations don't match up, then there's no way that three out of the three equations could. Does everybody agree with that? So, that's our first step. So that is uh, the, what happens when there's no solutions. So let's look at what happens when there are infinite solutions. So this is our next set of equations. Does anybody notice anything special about it? What's, what is important about the last two? Okay, so I can multiply the second and the third one times what? Or multiply the second one times what? All right, and it is identical to the third one if I do that, right? So I have 15x minus 6y plus 18z equals negative 30 here. And that gives me exactly what this one is, which is 15x minus 6y plus 18z equals negative 30. So here, when I add these up, I get 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals equals 0. That's true. 
because I'm going to subtract here, right? So I subtract each spot, and negative 30 minus negative 30 is 0. So 0 equals 0. Is that true? Always? Okay. So, but we do actually have to check something else. So it is possible that it's infinite solutions. Alright, say that again. We're subtracting negative 6 minus negative 6. Same reason why the 30 ends up being like that. Okay. Alright, so, but what we have to check though is we do know that 2 and 3 cancel each other out, but what about 1 and 2? The problem is, what happens if they never hit each other? Could it be infinite solution for all three if those two are no solution? All right, so let me let me say that again. So we know two of two of them are infinite solutions, right? But what if the third never hit that? So then there'd still be no solution because we're talking about where do all three of these come together at the same spot, right? So if the third one doesn't hit, then it doesn't matter. So here we go, 4x plus 5y plus 3z equals 12, and 5x minus 2y plus 6z equals negative 10. I'm going to multiply this one by, what do you think would be easier to do? I think 2 and 5. So that's going to change to um, 8x plus 10y plus 6z equals 12. And then the bottom is going to change to 25x. Oh, thank you. That, that is 24. Uh, 25x uh, minus 10y. Uh, this is plus 30z here equals negative 50. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to add these two together because that's what gets rid of the y's. So this is 33x um, plus the y's cancel. So plus uh, 36z equals negative 26. So let me ask you this. Did this bring up no solutions? How do we know that this is not, this part is not no solution? Okay. Uh, nobody's gotten that right all day, so I was just curious if you all would. So, this is okay, and here's why. Because it did not end up as zero equals some number, i.e. the no solution part. So, let me say it another way. If there is a variable left, without zero, in front of it, it's okay. Does that make sense? Because if the variable has a zero in front of it, it's zero. So see, so this problem is infinite solutions. So this one's okay. This one is infinite solutions. Okay. So, what do y'all think? Is it hard, easy? A little bit easier, right? A little bit less work, right? Like you finally get to a point where you can actually just stop because, right? So that's kind of nice. All right, uh, that's really all I have for you guys to do today. So um, on tonight's homework, what you're going to have is you're going to have five that turn out to be infinite solution or no solution, and you're going to have one that has an answer, and you're going to have to find that answer. Okay? All right.